Hello everyone, today I want to introduce to you how to make an gauge chart uh, with Power BI. The reason I want to introduce this is that I found that Power BI makes a lot beautiful chart um, that especially Excel does not do uh, or does not do as well. Um, I, as you can see in the visualization uh, tab of Power BI, there are many types of charts. Actually some of them like the bar charts, I think Excel can do reasonably well and Excel has a very flexible interface to do them so I for them I feel neutral either you do them in Power BI or Excel but then there are a couple different charts and I will introduce to you um, as much as I find them out like for example the gate chart if um, it's not available in uh, Excel and if you want to use it um, you have to recreate uh, using some workaround to it in Excel which is not ideal so this is quite straightforward in Power BI and I found that it's really worth introducing to you today. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so first, as you can see, this is actually um, like used quite frequently to measure KPIs. So it's um, looking like this. So it usually has like, for example, the minimum value, the maximum value, the target value, and what your actual value is to, um, to identify, okay, are you at target, past target, are you at risk, not at risk, that kind of uh, indicator. So to do this, let's um, actually uh, get the data ready. Okay, so let's first uh, take a look at the data that we use for our purpose. So I have four quarters of data. Uh, for each of the qu uh, quarter, I have a KPI measurement. So it's quite straightforward. My minimum is always zero. My max is 2x. Um, target is 100%, which means that I'm on target. And my actual KPI um, is different for each of the quarter for demonstration purpose. Um, I actually also have an additional column, which is not required but I have it here so that I'll show you how I um, use it or like show it in our chart is pretty neat um, which uh, basically for example I call like sales revenue and I have different value um, revenue targets uh, revenue uh, actual revenue amounts for different uh, quarter okay so that is our data now let's copy the data with the header um, and we let's go back to our uh, Power BI desktop. So the first thing you do is to enter data. So we are gonna enter data manually. So when you get to the create table, you click on the first um, cell, just control uh, C, control V, and then you can see your data is loaded in. You can name your table. For example, I wanna name it as like Q1 to Q4 KPI. Uh, you can change it later if you want and then load it your data will be loaded in. Um, when it's loading successfully, you're gonna see all the fields on the right-hand side, uh, but just to be sure, especially for, to check for your data type, you wanna uh, go to the second icon on here, uh, on the left-hand side, show data, and then here is your data table. So let's see, this is how our data label looks like. So select each column to see if we have the right, uh, data type. So for example, for my uh, minimum max target and actual, you know what, I actually want them to be a percent. So I'm going to select a uh, decimal number and uh, I'm going to select format as percent. So you can see it's percent, but you know what, I don't want any decimal space. So I'm going to manually choose this as zero. And I do this for uh, my max as well. So actually I can just go to directly uh, percent and I just reduce it to zero decimal space. Um, one thing is that unfortunately I believe you can only change the format one column at a time. So it is slightly more manual. Um, and my actual KPI is this percent. Okay, so that's a percent and that's my sales revenue, which I want it to be whole number, but I want to add the um, thousand divider. Okay, so now that looks good. Uh, let's go back uh, to our uh, main page and uh, I have selected, so let, let's say, let's start. So you know what, select this gauge chart. It's going to show you something blank 
And um, our goal here is to do four gauge charts showing different quarters. Okay, so now we have the data and let's go ahead and select our uh, data. So the first thing we do is select the time. So I'm gonna uh, create four gauge chart, one for each quarter, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So I need to have a filter. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure I have a filter on this visual and this visual is gonna be Q1. So only Q1 is selected. And then I'm gonna put in all my values here. So the value is my actual KPI. So I just drag it, click and drag it and drop it here. The next one is my minimum. So I just have my minimum, drop my minimum in here and drop my maximum to here. So you can see my um, minimum is zero, max 200, I'm at 60. What is my target? The next thing ask for your target you know what your target is 100%. Okay, so this is pretty much the gate chart that we need. However, there's also one more entry here asking for two tip. This is where, this is totally optional. And then let's say I wanna show it as sales revenue. I drop it. You see, it actually does nothing change to the chart. But what happens is that whenever you toggle to the chart, you see um, the, you see what, um, the box that comes up, it will show you the sales revenue that's related to this chart as well. So this sales revenue, if you do not choose to not to show it in tooted, it's not gonna show. It's only gonna show when you drop it to the tooltip. So it's just that um, there to give you an additional piece of information to make decision, but it does not actually dilute your chart in any way. Okay, so let's say this is what we need for our Q1. Um, of course, the title looks weird. So let's go back to change the title. To do that, select your chart and go to format and go to title. So title is where you can change it to whatever that you need. Uh, we're gonna, we, uh, I can show you how to do dynamic uh, titles in the future, but for now, for easy, let's say just should, we just input like Q1 KPI, which is like say 60. Okay, so let's say this is a chart that we like, oh, and of course you can change the color um, or anything, right? Like as you like, uh, let's say if this is color, uh, if you like the dark blue, da da da, yep. So, okay, so we have created the chart for Q1. Now let's do it for Q, for the other quarters. And one thing that Power BI does really well is that it actually allow you to copy charts and formats easily. So what you need to do is select your chart, cop, uh, control C, control V gives you the next one. Um, and then you just continue to do it. And then it's gonna give you all the charts and then you can see there's grid lines to help you to align your charts as desired as well. Okay, so now you have four identical charts. Uh, what you need to do is just change them one by one for the quarter that you desire. So for example, for this chart, um, you know what well, my time is actually Q2. And my title will need to change to Q2 as well. And here we go. And then you do the same thing for your Q3 and you do the same thing for your title. For the next one, your time is Q4 and your title is Q4. Voila. So here you have four beautiful charts um, that's lined up quite well. And then you can select all of them and move them around for whatever formatting purpose that you need. I know you can also add like new text box um, anywhere that you need to explain to, uh, to them. Um, and let's say uh, you see like when you select Q4, you see the sales, you can actually see the sales revenue to be 8 million. So that is very neat. And um, as I said in the previous video, if you, you can export it once you have it set, you can save it as a Power BI format. You can export it to PDF. You can also publish it. 
you save your chart. Let's say we want to have this as gauge chart. You save it. Uh, you can also publish to your workspace, uh, workplace, and uh, you can also then export it as uh, PowerPoint. So you let's say now it's published to Power BI. Um, and uh, once you have them showing here, you can also export them to Power, uh, PowerPoint. So I'm not going to show you that, but I just um, want to note it out that that's something that you're able to do. OK, so I think this is really handy, really easy and really beautiful as well. So um, this is all that I want to share with you today, and I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.